Hello and welcome to the podcast series Anecdotes of Digital Humanities. So we all know that time never stops for anyone. And this is a universal truth which applies everywhere under the sun. And the same also applies to academics and research. As Eileen Gardiner says in her paper, the digital humanities a primer for students and scholars that everything must change so that everything will remain the same for example there was a time in the 14th century when science became a means to create a new world it has led to some incredible inventions in every field one can think of and once again the wheel of the time has turned and demands out of the box thinking in order to revolutionize this world in this era of mixing and matching neither has science been left untouched a common trend of interdisciplinary research has picked up where two or more fields have come together to merge into something new and one such interdisciplinary course is known as digital humanities it's a move from print to digital or we can say Gutenberg to Zuckerberg as Zanik Adema and Gary Hall say in their paper Post Humanities the dark side of the digital the process of transitioning from the Gutenberg galaxy of reading and writing print text that are published intermittently in codex book and journal form to the Zuckerberg galaxy of fast paced high volume networked flow of digital writing photography film video sound data and hybrid combinations is hard to rid of humanities much has been said and talked about digital humanities for the last one decade but some scholars believe that it started a long ago In 1946 when Roberto Busa attempted to encode nearly 11 million works of Thomas Aquinas writing on IBM punch card this was known as humanities computing the digital humanities is a field of study research teaching and invention concerned with the intersection of computing and humanities It uses electronic form of data to analyze, investigate, synthesize, etc. Or we can say that digital humanities is not a unified field but an array of convergent practices that explore a universe in which print is no longer the exclusive or the normative medium in which knowledge is produced or disseminated. Instead, print finds itself absorbed into new multimedia configurations and digital tools techniques and media have altered the production and dissemination of knowledge in the art human and social sciences despite such a buzz for over a decade there is still no universally accepted definition of digital humanities everyone has their own understanding and definitions as matthew christebaum point out the growing literature around the what is digital humanities question may well be a genre in itself digital humanities is becoming an interesting field of research and study in india as well some institutes have already started course in this field and many are lined up to start even though there are new courses and degrees around digital humanities there is still a dearth of information that provides a clear picture of what this course is all about being an interdisciplinary field anyone has the freedom to join this course because of the diversity of people applying to this course there is always a wide gap in the understanding of the course between any two individuals to add to this there isn't plenty of information on one can say a starter pack that could help all the freshers reach the same level of understanding about the course in this series we will be covering many such questions which will help to introduce digital humanities in a more cohesive manner 
and I am aware of the significance of this series because I myself am from a natural science background and before joining this course I wanted to understand the course, its requirements, what it is all about, what I will be studying, what I can do with this, the practicality of interdisciplinary aspect, the scope of using this with my discipline or studied as a separate course etc. There were many questions in my head but I could not find much information on the same. Therefore, I believe that these podcast series will be helpful for anyone who wants to know about digital humanities. So keep watching and keep listening. Thank you.